Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Um, we did something. We put the little buckling in one of these cages last night. He was trying to mate his mother, which that is something he could do. Even if the uh, girls aren't old enough to breed, the little dolings aren't old enough, the mother is. So we put him in here last night. He's been in here this morning. We fed him this morning, but we're about to go try to move Rocky over to the pen where we had him by himself and he kept jumping the fence. We're gonna see if putting Rocky over there and putting him back over there with Rocky will help. Okay, this morning we've got Tucker over here in the pen where we're gonna put uh, Rocky and the little goat. We're gonna go to town here in a little bit. We're not gonna leave him out here while we go to town, but for the most of the day, Tucker will be learning to be with goats. This We're going for you, Rocky. We're going for Faith. Ow! That hurt. Maybe we are going for you. Get pee breath. Ah! Okay. He's all wet. Ooh. Tucker. Okay, that was pretty easy. It wasn't as eventful as it could be could have been. But he has he is super wet. Like his his beard, all of that is is wet and he stinks bad. We're gonna leave Chase over here on this side and Rocky over here and put the buck over, the little buckling over with him, and hopefully he'll stay over here. And then we're gonna take Tucker in because we've got to go to town. But when we come back, we'll put him back out here. I just realized something. Guess who his father is? Rocky? Rocky. He's gonna be with his daddy. Maybe he's gonna be under good care then. Yeah. See, this is the type of behavior that I was trying to avoid. So yeah, that's the type of behavior that I that, that they were doing before when I put him over here with these two. Only he had two of them and one of them has horns, but um, I can't leave him over here with this going on. He's not even going to stay for that. He's not going to put up with that. But I can't leave him out here with him like that. So that is the type of behavior that I was trying to avoid. Um, I know some of you said, you know, other YouTube channels put their bucklings with their bucks and don't have any problems. But as you can see, that is not going to work. We're not going to be able to leave them there. Um, and the buck's not going to put up with it. The buck tried to get out and can get out. He's done it many times, and that's why we had to move him. Uh, but he can jump that fence. Those guys... Um, are not playing nice they are wet bucks will pee on themselves and pee on their face to be more attractive to the females i don't know how that works but apparently since there are baby goats running around that that does work but anyway they are really uh they're nasty right now and so and then we had the buckling tried to breed with re uh, rain which is his mother and that's why we moved him to begin with so uh she might be in heat or one of the other other does may be in heat and that's what's causing all of this but one thing's for sure is we can't put him over here with the bucks because um that ain't gonna work we got him back up here he's got fresh food and water and look where we use that shade cloth the one from the backyard that you saw us take down in the last video we've used it here for him and it kind of gives this one shade too for when the cats and the dogs come out Okay, I know that this is not ideal, but he is not over there trying to breed his mother and he's not getting um, beat up. We'll say, yeah, beat up by his father. So he's got grass and shade and he's got some fresh food and water. And these are light enough where we can actually, we can move them as he eats down on the grass so that he stays on clean grass. Um, and I wanted to mention, you know, a while ago I said that, that there had been comments where people would tell me that another YouTube channel, and I don't even know if it's the same YouTube channel, but where another YouTube channel or other YouTube channels put their bucklings with their, in their buck pen with their bucks and everything works out okay. And I'm sure it does. I don't know the situation. I don't know how big the pens are. I don't know the, 
temperament of the bucks that that individual has or those people have but you saw what happened when i put him over there with them it wasn't going to work and he wasn't going to have it he was going to jump out so for us this is what we're going to need to do right now and I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it it's um it'd be better once he finds a new home but for right now this is good We got the sand raked out or spread out with a rake a little bit. This royal palm turkey was out just a minute ago and she looks horrible. I wish, I don't think those eggs are gonna hatch. I don't know how long they've been in here, but I think it's been long enough. I don't think they're gonna hatch. I wish they would just get up and get off the nest. She's apparently getting up some to get a drink and, and eat a little bit because she's still alive, but she is skinny and looks horrible and I wish they'd just get up. There's still a chicken in here, too. I don't know what to do about these. But anyway, here is a tarp we put on yesterday. It's huge, but it's to give them shade, and that's where they're hanging out, is in that shade. It's It feels a lot better under that tarp than it does in that coop. I wish these birds would come out of here. Greg is up there using the water hose, getting the duck pool cleaned out. Ducks are really nasty. I mean, they can mess up water in just a matter of 30 minutes, but this pool was pretty nasty. So he's taking the water hose to it, cleaning it out, gonna bring it out here, fill it back up with water for the ducks. But uh, this is everybody's main hangout right now, <laughs> under this tarp. So that's good. As far as the bucks go, we have moved them over here where we had the babies at one time because there is right now it's about 11 30 12 o'clock there is no shade over here and where they're normally at so we put them over here because we still have a little bit of shade right here um from this from this tree here i don't know yeah right there's a tree and then along the wall here of the shop stays shady hey tucker um stay shady for a little while but we still need to put up something for for shade for here in about an hour there probably won't be any shade so we're gonna have to do something for them and we gotta do it really soon because it is hot so i've been standing here watching the birds all hang out under the tarp in the shade all except the ones that are in the coop and i'm very concerned about the ones in the coop especially that royal palm hen it's it's a little bit cooler in the coop than it is out standing in the sun but it is much cooler under this tarp than it is in the coop and definitely it's gonna be more cooler than inside that little plastic box that they're sitting in on the eggs. And one of the boxes has two turkey hens sitting in it. So I'm concerned about the heat. They were, they started laying on those eggs right before we went to the expo. The expo was the second and third. Today's the 25th. I think what I'm gonna to try to do is come out tonight. I don't know. I don't know how, how that would work, but maybe come out tonight and try to candle them. If they don't allow that to happen or if I forget, um, the next couple of days we're just going to we're gonna remove the eggs and try to break the broodiness because um, when it gets up to 100 degrees, that's just going to be too hot. And we need to get that hen up and eating and nourished back to health. Okay. Oh, excuse me. 
Come on. Yeah, I thought they would just run. They just run. Pick her up because she don't let her open her wings. There we go. I have nowhere to go because there's a thing behind me. Oh my goodness. Okay. I can't see anything. So these are these are nasty. I think we should just. Uh, I don't think they're. I don't think they're gonna hatch. She's been on them a long time. Yeah. It seems like it's been about a month. About yeah. And look how muddy, and the flies are everywhere. So let's just get rid of these. I'm gonna leave this chicken alone. <laughs> But look how pathetic she looks. You're not looking so hot yourself, sister. Hey, Blizzard. No, he don't like you. Watch your fingers. Golly. Um. Bonding time, Blizzard. Okay, I don't know if I got the wing short enough or not. And we may be making a big mistake. But this is what we've decided to do. I hope it works. grass. Okay, let's go get a hen as he thinks about jumping over. Okay. What in the animal kingdom is this? Time you got back? Yeah. Last one to trim. Yep. Can you hold the wing out? Because I have the camera. Let me see the underneath side real fast. Okay. It's hard to do. Here. Yeah. Separate them. feathers not the wings or the feet and what that is on the ground all right, so we put the turkeys over here. It might be a mistake. I hope it's not. We, uh, we clipped one wing on each one of the turkeys. I don't think I got the Tom's wing short enough, but with all the hens in there, surely he won't go anywhere. Um, but we just had to get some birds out of that chicken coop. It wasn't big enough for however many chickens we have. I think we've got 11 or 12 chickens in there. I think four ducks and then five turkeys. It's just not big enough for that. So we've decided to put the turkeys over here. And let me tell you something, those two last hens, man, they stunk really bad. They smell like rotten egg. And I'm gonna have to go in and take a shower because I can't handle this smell. But I just wanna close this video out before I do that. Um, tell me what you think in the comments. Good idea or bad idea? I mean, they can get out. Will they get out? I don't know. <laughs> I 
and they come out to all this lush green grass. Yeah, I'd be happy too. Go from dirt to grass, yeah. You want to live out there? Uh, no. That was, that's if I was a turkey. You Well, Greg, come on now. I'm not a turkey. You sure about that? I'm positive. Good girl.